So we're going for supper, but we're gonna take these scooters that were randomly parked here a bit <laughs> earlier. So as a treat to myself for my 50th birthday, I decided to try one of the uh, e-scooters. So we, we rented a couple of e-scooters. And I did not have to scoop you off the side. I did not fall. <laughs> it was actually quite easy and a lot of fun. And uh, we rode two scooters for about 15 minutes. Probably about, we were going 20 kilometers an hour. So probably about a couple of kilometers we covered. I don't know. Anyway. Um, and it was like six euro and that included like our posing for pictures time at the beginning and whatnot so a lot of fun i'm actually sold on these things uh in urban areas for getting around and what we've noticed is that most people are actually using them as a mode of transportation not as a mode of recreation although it is fun and we even saw some uh food delivery guys on on those and on the rental bikes that are out here as well so that streetcar coming in it's super loud we're a couple blocks away from the water here I honestly I don't know what the name of this part of Lisbon is but it's clearly the more touristy part anyway so uh, this is our day today we're gonna take a look around this area here and we're gonna do as little walking as possible because we've done nothing but walk for the last couple of days <laughs> We decided to make the trip from Porto to Lisbon by train. The tickets were easy to book online and were about 20 euros each for first class. The ride was three and a half hours. The train was a little bit older, but it was still comfortable and it got us there on time. much time? Minute 24. So we're going for supper, but we're gonna take these scooters that were randomly parked here a bit <laughs> earlier. Right, so the app actually would tell you where, where the bikes are located. And uh, there's a barcode right on the QR code on the bike. You just scan the QR code. And then you're ready to go. And you can put two scooters on. So it says one. Uh, another add a scooter. So you do this. Scan that QR code. And then 
and that bike lights up. <laughs> and the really cool part, it's got a built-in phone holder, which also charges your phone. So here we go.